What's up everybody? Welcome back to the United Twins with myself, CM and Cappy of Adessa. And this episode is it's coming a little late, I have to admit. You know, it's been a whizzy, busy, whizzy? What the hell? Busy week for me. You know, work all weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, man, but you know I gotta come through with the episodes. The work don't stop. It doesn't matter how busy I am, the episodes are gonna continue to come. Alright. But well, first, I'll, I'll start off with the Young Boys game this week. That game was. We always knew it was an experimentation game for Ralph Ragnick. As fans, we saw that he had that rare opportunity to give members of the team a chance. Now, I'll get onto that a bit more later. First, I do want to congratulate Charlie Savage, Zidane Iqbal on making their Manchester United first team debuts. Come on, man, let's clap it up. Let's clap it up. Let's clap it up for them and also clap it up for Tenem Mengi, Anthony Alanga and Shola Shortier for making the Champions League debuts. So special night for all the youngsters. Big up to Tom Heaton as well making his Man United debut. Long time coming. But listen, I was pleased to see those young guys get a chance. But what I was slightly disappointed with was... The performances of the senior members, you know, Bai, I thought was outstanding and deserves to start in some league games. Greenwood was great. What a goal that was, by the way. Still striking the ball as clean as he did, with it being behind him. Trust me. <laughs> and Rangnick, he's set to boost his physicality levels in the coming months. So imagine when we get a fully developed Mason Greenwood, how lethal is he going to be? Massive. But remember, he's still young, so give him time, give him time. He's this good now, but just imagine how good he is if he's given a true development pla a platform to develop as a player. Develop into a perfect player. Come on, man. Now look, when there are games like this, Cappy, I look to those players who want more game time and say, this is your chance to shine. Your chance to show the manager what you're made of. I thought Lingard didn't have the best performance. A lot of people said he looked disinterested, but I'm gonna sway away from that. Yeah, I thought Wamba Saka had a nervous game at right back. Mm -hmm. Get well soon, but you will have to improve now with a new coach and new ideas. <laughs> um, I would even say that Donny van der Beek wasn't at his finest. Granted that there will be other opportunities. It's not like a one and done team, you know? And there were other guys that were kind of up and down, but I'm, I'm not gonna say everybody. I just wanted to name the three that jumped out of my head. But I wanna see guys come with a hunger to impress. No excuses. You want more game time? Here it is. You need to show you deserve it. And, you know, you saw a drop off in intensity. You saw a lack of control as the game went on. And to me, that did disappoint. You know, there was bound to be some rust from some. But still, you know, one matter, for example, he had a decent game. And he hardly plays anymore. So what are the excuses, you know? Overall, the game wasn't a decider or anything. So it didn't matter. But I still would look at this game as a coach and say, some of these guys based off this performance don't seem to be reliable. Can I trust these guys to make a difference when you need it the most? Or will they just shrink under the lights? A lot of questions to, to be asked and answered by the players, asked by Ralph Rangnick. And they will get other opportunities to prove that kind of question wrong. But the only thing is, will they perform to prove it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> and this episode's co- oh, What are you doing? Nah, 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 nah. What kind of disrespect is this? And you ain't drop a like on a video yet? Or subscribe to the channel?
at least do one or the other or both. If you're new, subscribe and drop a like. If you're here, drop a like on the video. Surely if you've watched half the video, you should be enjoying it by now. Drop a like. Stop being stingy. It's free. <laughs> Still watching. <laughs> so CM, we have a game coming up, but I just wanted to touch on the breaking news story that was covered on our instagram page so go follow it at cm22ent daily posts about man united news uh, our opinions on games all them things there so get involved in the comments and have your say and maybe your comments will show up on these videos <laughs> there's an incentive anyways according to his agent anthony martial wants to leave manchester united in january and you know what it's a sad situation for me in anthony i see a guy with bundles of ability cm talent and it it's all been wasted due to a lack of consistency and a an abundance of pure chaos within the club you know what's happened to many players really paul popper Marcus Rashford, some guys that have come and gone at like Memphis Depay. Those are just to name a few. What the hell? You know what, yeah? Tell him to turn off his phone. This guy, this guy CM has no manners. Listen, it was a mistake, no, man. No, man. That, that, that thing frets me. Hold on. Cut, cut, cut. Like I said, man. Just to name a few, the ones that suffer the most in such a pure, poorly. Ah! <laughs> you see that that no. one phone call messed up everything, you know, everything. I even forgot what I was saying, man. Just chat, man. Ah, look, what I'm saying is, see, yeah, is the club is run poorly, and that will affect the young guys, their development how they reach their full potential that will affect them and it has happened to so many players not even just young guys experienced players that come into the club and then dip you're seeing some of these guys in our squad take dips and it's like come on you should be performing better but surely there is other issues to this because how many times are we going to say it's up to Paul Pogba to play to his best? No! There's more things happening behind the scenes. It's up to Anthony Martial to play to his best. There's more things happening behind the scenes. Or oh, there was. So hopefully Manchester United actually made a good move. Or a step in the right direction at least. By bringing in a guy in Ralph Rangnick. Who's going to have the power to bring in for example a sports psychologist and other guys like analysts who will help the players you know perform to the top the heights of their abilities you know and mm. i've heard people yeah, back to the martial thing i've heard people criticizing him and some of it is fair but let's not forget that the club are also to blame like i said before this is only one problem but I just brought up the sports psychologist. The fact that we only just employed one in a big, big club like Manchester United is an embarrassment. Is that this place? It's a huge embarrassment. And it just shows how the players have been neglected. Modern day football is all about unlocking the mind, unlocking the potential through looking inside of somebody's mind and seeing what they are thinking, how they feel before a game, how they feel after and during a game. Mm. And we didn't have that. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm just glad we got Ralph Rangnick. We have one now. Jeez, but listen. It's easy to criticize the player, but what's going on behind the scenes is what will improve the things you do see. And the club have not given the players the platform to succeed with a level of consistency for years now. And that is what I was aiming to get to before I was rudely distracted by CM's phone. With that being done, I'm, I'm going to quickly preview Norwich. Must win game, of course, because if certain results go our way, we could end the weekend back in the top four. 
what a turnaround <laughs> that's obviously not what we're aiming for long term of course but we need to start getting in the right positions and gaining some kind of rhythm it's almost a new year in a few weeks time has been flying and nobody has the time to slip up <laughs> we've already done that multiple times <laughs> we boogied down the table so oh, that is why our ambitions have changed <laughs> you know as well as unfortunately some of the stuff that existed here before Norwich have looked like a different side under Dean Smith you know compared to Daniel Farker's side uh, they, they go at you more they attack you more and you know that there is some kind of threat because as I said before Rangit came in we were defensively shoddy <laughs> I mean since then obviously didn't concede to Paris we didn't concede uh, <laughs> um, well we did concede to young boys but you know we've looked a lot better especially even in that Michael Carrick bit in that little stretch that three game stretch with Michael Carrick we looked a lot better so you know I don't think and I think we should be aiming for a clean sheet tomorrow I don't think they'll score but there is that threat on the counter attack but in the end of the day CM, Norwich are the worst team in terms of scoring and conceding goals <laughs> they concede the most goals in the league so as long as we stay solid and we're clinical up top we should be fine control the midfield Stray far from mistakes, we should be good. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, man, look. It's time to continue building, man. Some of our regular guys will be back in the team. So expect a better performance from Wednesday. And it will be a win. Hopefully, it will be a win. Finally, Ralph Ragnick did give some updates. So here they are. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, we can stretch it off on Wednesday, please get well soon Aaron Is a doubt after picking up a couple knocks and Nemanja Matic, he had a cold So he's doubtful for the game tomorrow as well or today whenever you'll be seeing this But yeah, it, it, it's kind of a game day decision depending on how Nemanja's feeling And then, <laughs> the injured lot of Champions League Varane, Paul Pogba Tony Martial, the man of the moment, of course, and Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Cavani are still sidelined with injuries. So we're going to have to wait a few more weeks to see them back on the pitch, thriving in a Ralph Rangnick side. And on a final note, to all the United fans traveling to Carroll Road, stay safe, be sensible, and enjoy the game. And to us fans watching from home, Enjoy the game. <laughs> I drop a like on the video. Tell them, man. Subscribe if you're new. And until the next time, make sure you know what the twins are cooking. <laughs> you like that outro, CM, innit? <laughs> Fam, in a bit. Some Muppet. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, everything free, no need for a criminal, mind control, all subliminal, Twitter, TikTok, Insta, digital, join this crew, follow my Twitch and I might rate you, if you pass through ends in this my gang, bust down doors or phase right through.